Hello, Tiroi. Yeah, a long time no see. Uh, this was a busy supper. Uh, we're actually uh, at war with Ethiopia. And on the south front, we're going to need some help. <clears throat> I'm doing pretty well, thanks. Uh, I really can't complain. I've been uh, healthy and my family's healthy, so. All is good. Uh, for social reasons, I didn't have too much time for streaming. Or recording videos, but I hope this is going to change soon. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the pandemic is hitting hard everywhere. Even if even if you're healthy, you're affected all the time. Uh, for infantry doctrine, we're going to choose firepower focus because I believe that's the one that we already have. Yep. Yeah. Uh, we're trying to build up some stockpiles in rares and metal. We have some storing problems, but that's okay. Um, I switched on all the notifications, so I'm going to have to switch some of those off. How have you been over summer? Now we're going to keep these notifications on. It's interesting to see who trades with who. A reasonable good time. Yeah, I mean... Can't always go brilliantly. But, um... I suppose it can always go worse. Our neighbors are redeploying their troops. Uh, we are trying to train a few spies. It's January 3rd. We're actually not uh, researching anything, just training spies. Because um, when the game started, I was at only three, I think, domestic spies. But uh, I want to raise national unity because I think um, we'll get some bonuses once we can, uh, or maybe some de decisions. Usually it's beneficial in the later in the later game to have a high national unity. Some decisions are only possible to take when you have more than 80% or 85%. And it says that we can go from uh, 
a standing army to a mobilized army which will give us some extra officers and better starting experience for units so why not take this we're losing some money because we are importing rares mostly we're buying 36 units of rares every day Yeah, but actually, I haven't been affected in my circles as well. I personally, I never had anything. I had, I didn't even have like a fever, or nothing at all, a cold, nothing. I was just uh, once I had a headache, but otherwise. Absolutely no problems, and uh, in my family nobody has had corona at work. A few people got tested, but it, they were all negative. Poland is trying to align itself to the Axis. Uh, okay, so Ethiopia took this coastline province. Uh, we're not in a rush here, we're going to take it uh, easy. But usually Italy convincingly wins this war fairly quickly. Okay, two of our divisions have met the enemy in it. Well, that's where that's the two divisions that we're trying to send south here. Uh, in terms of operational doctrine, we'll stick with the grand battle plan concept. Uh, I plan. Ooh, I should do something here actually I haven't changed the difficulty yet let's just put the entire game on very hard Because that's what we're trying to do. And then we have a decision to take here. Advertise the soldier profession. I guess this will give us some additional manpower. I haven't yet thought about how to expand the ground forces. It's uh, been a while since I've played Italy. Okay, we've lost another province to Ethiopia. That's okay. Um, we'll set up our units and then counterattack when we're ready. Here we're actually already fighting wait uh thought i set trade on automation we're trying to sell oil to us it's weird how how can we trade isn't Czechoslovakia landlocked? Hmm. That's very strange. Normally, 
I thought in HPP you cannot trade with countries that are landlocked and not a direct neighbor. Is this... am I blanking out or is this... Hmm. Or is it only if they're on a different continent? Can I trade with Xinjiang? Cannot initiate overseas trading with without both partners having a port. Okay. Uh, so it's only when they're in a different continent. Okay. Um, and but still, didn't I set? No, I didn't set uh, trade on automation. Okay, we'll accept this trade. Trading is now automated. And let's see what kind of job the AI does. Okay, and here we win the battle quickly. In modern day Eritrea. Uh, France is trading with Ethiopia. Not exactly sure how they would do that. Even though Ethiopia has a coastal province now, they don't have a port. And I'm pretty sure. Unless, I guess, they because they're direct neighbors here, maybe they could trade this way. Uh, in the meantime, I was trying to think about how to expand our army. Here we have two cores. Uh, sitting in Oduwa. We could, we're going to incur a river crossing penalty, but we could actually try to attack Let's see how that works. Okay, Ethiopia is now preparing for war as well. Okay, I think this is this attack here is fairly pointless. Uh, actually, no, it went up from six percent to twenty percent. Now it's back at 6%. Right, uh, so the idea was to think about our army and what to do with it. Eastern Army Group. We have two armies, first and fourth, with a total of five rather small divisions. They only have two maneuver regiments of infantry. This Alpine division doesn't even have support.
Uh, historically, it is accurate though. The Italians did use the binary system as opposed to the triangular divisions of other armies. But apparently with their armor they had quadruple divisions. Hmm. Then we have two divisions in the south. We do have a large fleet though, and we are building two new battleships. And initially I ordered the construction of five additional units of IC. And just before our divisions arrived, uh, the Ethiopians seized this province as well. Yeah, this battle here is not going anywhere. about if we support from a second direction. Okay, now we're actually at 10, sp 10 domestic spies. Now we can scale the training of spies back. Yeah. Now we can go into researching. Uh, for research, we are updating our technologies for cruisers, light and heavy. For capital ships, we are improving our industrial production and efficiency. We're improving rare materials refining. And I thought steel production. Okay, it seems I didn't add this. Officer training, fighter pilot training and fighter ground crew training, supply production. Agriculture for manpower, some infantry technologies, and that's pretty much it. My plan is to have decent infantry. Uh, for armor, we'll either rely on light, domestic light armor. We're fairly up to date right now. but only for this current year. And otherwise we can try to to get licenses from potential allies, which will likely be the Axis. Uh, for ships, we have a big Practical in cruisers, not so much this. Uh, these uh, pop ups are a bit, yeah. Our cruiser practical is pretty good, so we could, um capitalize on this by sticking with cruisers, which is why I elected to 
research some of these cruiser technologies and keep them up to date. Um, otherwise, yeah, we'll also keep up with uh, submarines and destroyers, but um, we'll see how much research points we're able to invest. Uh, in terms of capitals, we'll stick with battleships. Um, for bombers, we'll stick with the uh, medium bombers. And for fighters, I suppose with light fighters, we have one wing of uh, close air support attack planes. But I think we'll, we'll rely on medium bombers and naval bombers for the most part. Air Force overall, I don't think is going to be. Yeah, we'll have to see. We sit at 82 available. I see, and we we are stuck with. For the moment, we're stuck with almost 18 points of leadership, and we could upgrade this. to almost 20 points if we get a total IC of 120 so at the current stage that would mean we would need we have 15% of bonus so as almost we would almost need 100 uh, IC let me see if I can. 120 divided by 115 times 100. We would need 105, I see. Hmm. weird because this 82 isn't 150 or is it yeah it is actually 7.2 yeah wait but then yeah okay so we would need 105 I see that's that's a lot more. 33 more. I see. Oh, we're going to get some bonuses from industrial production plus 7.5%. So then we'll be at 17.5%. And then in about two years. It could be at 10%, so that would be plus 20%. And currently we're building... I see for 4 in roughly 10 months. So if we can put down 4 I see every 10 months... Yeah, it's not too much. Hmm. In three years, we could put down about 12 units. It'll speed up a little bit, but 12, then we would be at uh, 84. Plus 20%, yeah, it's, not, it's going to take a while until we upgrade our leadership. So for that reason, we'll have to be economical with uh, research projects.
This might be a problem later. We'll focus on light aircraft. Focus on cruisers instead of destroyers. Maybe one more updated generation and later focus on destroyers. We'll see how things go, but uh, it's not going to be easy. Let's see if we can get the Air Force to help out. Let's call this one fifth uh, squadron. Okay. Do I have, I think I have automated assignment of commanders switched on, I'll take this off. Okay, so our units have stopped here for some reason. Going to need those militia or these. Um, they're actually supposed. To, historically, Chichi and then was sort of the Italian version of the uh, of what later would be the. Waffen SS in Germany. Like a, a party army. A fascist uh, party army, but in this game they're modeled with uh, militia units, so they're not too strong. And I suppose in reality the uh, Mussolini's private party army wasn't too impactful either in uh, in reality okay, we're bombarding again in uh, Gondor. Let's see if we can get some more support in for this attack. Okay. 
at the Ethiopians counterattack in uh, Adua. The 6th and 30th division are almost in uh, it, then they should be able to start their own flanking attack. And uh, here we already have. The Ethiopians trying to take Mogadishu, that would be very unfortunate. So we'll have... We'll start an attack. See if we can slow them enough. Our own militia can move in to protect our port. Just saw our manpower rising. And I'll have if the squadron with the 14th uh, division uh, ground attack in Beletuen Of course, uh, Ethiopia isn't the only theater of war. China is at war with itself. Uh, I think I looked at the war economy, but I'm not sure. Uh, this would give us some additional IC. We would lose some more money. Maybe we should do that. Wasting IC in production. I think we'll stick with the binary divisions. I don't know if are the templates uh, and the templates are binary as well. Although I have to say, when I tried this out the last time, I had a bad experience. 
with binary divisions, but maybe I wasn't doing it right, but we're trying it again. Maybe we'll switch uh, when when it's really bad. But I do want to try it out if I can make it work. As for this one, I see... I suppose we can always put it into, into supplies. Germany decides to prepare for war as well. Welcome back, Tiroi. Okay, finally. 26th and 30th Division have arrived in Ed. Now we can go for the counter flank. Okay, so the flank, the Ethiopian flanking attack dies down. Wait. Okay, so now we're at a hundred IC because uh because we're at war. Which means we now have a lot of IC available. Um, I didn't comment on this earlier, but the reason why we don't have, or we only have so few types of ships that we can build at the moment is this is this is modeling the. Uh, the fact that Italy was in part of the London Naval Agreement, which prevented the participating countries from building a lot of um, heavy units, and apparently in the case of Italy, uh, the unit number is already exceeded at this point. But I think we'll later get the option to leave the London Naval Agreement. So these nine ICs, we won't be able to invest into uh, ships, but I suppose we can do several things. We can get some convoys and maybe some factory. In terms of infrastructure, don't really see a need to build a lot at this moment. I mean, think about uh, building some fortifications, but I don't even know how much I see that would be were to build a land fort here that would be four I see as well uh no for this for these four I see will uh build some industrial capacity as well. OK, 
Okay, we're stopping the Ethiopians from capturing Mogadishu, which gives the um, colonial troops and the 29th Infantry Division. No, the 29th Infantry Division is fighting and the colonial divisions and the Chichi and then are moving to protect Mogadishu. And then we'll have Ethiopia pretty much contained in the south, except for these two provinces. Okay, and we have won the battle for Macaulay. 26th and 30th Infantry Division are moving in, are moving southwest. Our colonial troops here will soon run out of steam. But the battle is definitely progressing. at 35 percent France is trying to influence us towards I suppose the allies I still haven't thought about the uh, targets for the army. We're building up some manpower. Can we change this? I don't know what the uh, Italians have against support, but none of their divisions have support. In them. I'm not sure that's accurate. But apparently all these old P well this one did have motorized support. Or so the uh, author of the mod claims anyway. But I think we should have... At least our infantry divisions do have support, a support bri uh, brigade.
So I'm not sure if I should upgrade my existing divisions with additional regiments and battalions. Or whether I should start training new divisions. Early in the month and in the year, we did deploy a light cruiser, or commission a light cruiser. Uh, this was Eugenio Savaiola, and it went to the 4th Squadron. I thought Virginia di Savoia. Oh, it went to the second squadron. This one has better... Okay, so it got better turrets. I guess... Do they have the same engine? Is that why the range is... It also has a better engine. I'm, I'm not sure. This one has 4000 kilometers of range and this one has only... 3700. The more modern one. But uh, doesn't matter. Okay, we have saved Mogadishu. I'm going to switch off This one will fill the screen with pop-ups Uh, so I'm going to switch off these battle messages. Okay, we have won the battle for Gondor, the ground battle that is. But the Ethiopians apparently are moving in reinforcements.
will have the medium bombers attack in Tandahu. Caught an American spy. Did not share trading with the French. Ethiopia needs soldiers. broke a trade agreement my own AI that is see we're importing rares and crude oil we're exporting fuel to Sweden I think we could use some steel as well. Did I uh, set this trade settings? Metal. We're trying to get some steel, but apparently no one is willing to say uh, to sell at this moment. Let's see if the Belgians are willing to sell. Okay. So the Ethiopians are being pushed back again in the south. We get some Ethiopian resistance. Ah, because they have managed to move in uh, reinforcements. I don't see the trade, but I also don't see that Belgium declined our offer to sell steel to us. Let's see if we can find someone else. Hmm, France is very likely. Let's see if we, we can get this uh, French steel. Yes.
This will reduce the deficit somewhat. Uh, can we get steel from... from anyone else? Wait. Are we being embargoed by... Okay, we'll free three IC by April 1st, which is in two months, and then 10 by April 28th. How is research going? build some relations with Germany and see if they would sell some they wouldn't sell energy to us that's interesting won the battle of Tondahu. You would imagine that this would be a bit more bloody as a battle. Germany reoccupies the Rhineland. If we capture Billet Win, that means we can advance with the Colonial Division and the 6th GGNN Division. On the north side of this river. We can actually try to retake this province, which used to be Italian. Wait, you were always meant to just support 
But it's okay, we'll let the uh, division stay here for the moment. Let's see. If we can kick back the Ethiopians here in Rukolitorio. an alpine division here under Gariboldi. They would have a terrain bonus, presumably. So we'll set them in March. So by my May 9th we will have 17 IC available. We could use this to upgrade some of our army. Sahara Reserve does have an infantry support tank. Uh, infantry support tanks. They are pretty good in uh, they do provide some uh, some hardness to an infantry division. Of course their speed is slow at five kilometers per hour. Currently our uh, support brigades have five times as much piercing attack. I suppose those are infantry support tanks. They would probably only have... It says here 37 millimeter. Which could be armor penetrating at the time. But, um. That's pretty horrible. Even our light armor only has two terms of armor piercing. Uh, it's, I don't know if uh, we have the resources to research infantry support tanks alongside uh, the light tanks.
Okay, we'll give these two divisions time to reorganize. And then we'll uh, have them attack north east, uh, northwest into Dolo. The Dolo area. And I was looking at the army. So we're going to give the uh, Alpine Division some support. One of them has motorized support, which I don't think is smart for the mountains. One has an engineer battalion. We could upgrade our, um, well, maybe not these colonial divisions, but the party army, we could upgrade that to motorized infantry, maybe, or infantry and motorized infantry. Suppose upgrading that much, that many um, infantry regiments to motorized infantry regiments will eat up a lot of valuable industrial capacity. Okay, so we have taken back after a month and a half our Colitorio. And these uh, BBs, they use up quite little in terms of IC, and that's because this models that they are being refitted, I believe. If uh, later on we leave the naval treaties and we get again to build uh, BBs as much as we want, I'm pretty sure they will have more. Uh, in terms of IC that they demand. attack towards our uh, maybe it was a good thing that uh, we brought uh, the Libyan division across the river let's move up the HQ 
I'm interested. Now, obviously, they will not get any uh, leader traits because the radio range is not far enough. If I were to detach at this point, I think they would. The divisions would get the uh, core commanders uh, bonuses. Okay. Here we are advancing. Which is what we'll keep doing. And we'll move up with some of the HQs. I'm just uh, looking up how long the Ethiopian war actually lasted. And trading with the US. Okay, so apparently this war actually lasted um, two years. Well, not two years, a year and a half. From October 1935 to February 1937. But it has always been my feeling that. War is modeled a bit too fast in Arts of Iron uh, 3, but it's probably difficult to make such a game completely realistic. So we'll not push this too hard. Because it's, the problem is now they are disorganized. Because we're always... Uh, pushing in now. If we kept pushing, we'll cap we would capture these divisions.
and it would be fairly quick to win, I suppose. Okay, two divisions have arrived, and I think here we also have a bombing mission that we can stop. Oh, we're actually running out of range for our fighters. I'm not quite sure what to do. Maybe we should just raise infantry divisions and not bother with uh, modernizing armor. Not yet, anyway. Until we have more IC available and better technologies. Some HQs are making their way forward. Check in on the Chinese theater, the Communists, the People's Republic of China are at war with the Republic of China and Xibei Sanma at the moment. So we have options, we could uh, expand existing divisions, upgrade them, particularly motorized cavalry, uh, armor, or we could just train additional divisions of infantry, basically. An infantry division like this would cost nine thousand five hundred in manpower. That would be nine point five. So ten divisions would be. 95, then we would be down to 421. Usually I don't like to fall below 400 in terms of manpower. Because it's uh, a horrible feeling to be out of manpower and urgently needing divisions. I 
And the Italian core is usually two divisions, apparently, or three. Sometimes only one. So 10 divisions would be about 5 cores in uh, the Italian army. Still have a lot of core commander available. Also, for this question, what to do with our IC? Oh, we're actually spying on the French. So we get some information on what they're doing. They have quite some numbers. French have a carrier. Um, what's our spy mission on the United Kingdom? Counter espionage. We also get some intel on them. French stopped influencing us. The Ethiopians are pulling back out of Imi. So we'll move ahead and take the province if it's undefended. And we'll only keep some slight pressure up. Tonight I'll play this to the end of March, the first third of the first year. And the plan is to go back to regular Friday Parts of Iron 3 streams. The way it should be. What kind of trade agreement do we have with the UK? I think we were importing rare materials and I think we discarded it because we have reached 150% of our stockpile target. Oh, the... Uh... Wait. Other convoys are up here. I thought they finished. Yugoslavia, we're also spying on Yugoslavia, but uh, they seem to be pretty active.
We're building up uh, points for covert operations. So far, nothing has happened to our national unity. It's rising ever so slightly. Yeah, in terms of the general plan, I suppose more infantry division is always useful. Wait, where, were, where are we being attacked? Oh, okay. It's because they haven't moved out of uh, the uh, Imi area yet. As. Uh, the seventh GGNN division is trying to push forward. Not much happening right now, except for some smaller colonial conflict. Oh, I wanted to check out. So apparently we already know the technology for... Right. We already know the technology for paratroopers. I wanted to see how many of those we could train. We could train four divisions of paratroopers. How about additional engineers? We could train five additional engineers. Uh, they are called assault battalions and they are supposed to be... Well, I mean, they don't take up frontage but they have soft attack some defensiveness I suppose they wait yeah I suppose they, they should help defending But they are considered a special force, and as such they have a limited number that you can build. And then Mountaineers, how many more can we train? Eight more, which would translate to four more Mountain Infantry Divisions. Binary ones, that is.
Not too much happening. And the smartest thing would be to build naval units because they tend to take a long time to complete, but we could build small units only anyway. Apparently Germany was trying to influence Greece. We're overproducing supplies. Not sure I like that. And a spy in the Soviet Union was killed. France breaking a couple of trade agreements. And the United States negotiate with investors, which is quite useful sometimes. But we don't have this decision yet. Cancel trade with France and the United States, I suppose. That's the steel agreement. And we're exporting quite a few supplies, 26 units per day. I did actually change my laws also, um, Noteworthy is probably Yeah, we went to limited restrictions from repression and the reason was actually it helps with uh, research efficiency I have no exact count how many spies we had, but I think there are not too many foreign... Well, there are some foreign spies. What happens? 
we switch all spies to counter espionage. One of our spies got caught in the French Republic, as well as in Switzerland. The United Kingdom, the United States and France sign Second London Treaty. The Second London Naval Treaty, I should say. I think pretty soon we could elect to break it. And then we can reconstruct two uh, two battleships. We need the national fascists to have fifty and to for our neutrality to be pushed below sixty. Which we already have. Wait. Our neutrality is 58%. I don't understand why it isn't marked with the green asterisk yet in the conditions. Japan refuses to sign the Second London Naval Treaty. And Portugal is trading. And Switzerland is catching spies left and right, and we're catching none. Okay, now we can refuse to sign. Let's uh, not sign this. Okay, now we can elect to reconstruct our battleships. So let's do it. Leaving this on for those who want to read it. Now we have two more battleships in the queue. We will get um, their gun systems upgraded as well as their engine. While the Japanese decide to upgun the IGN Mikuma. And we catch the first spy, foreign spy in Italy. Reds again influencing us towards their faction. Germany catches one of our spies and Switzerland again. They are pretty efficient. A 
Okay, and we're reaching the end of March. Which was my first stream after quite the break. And we catch a Czech spy and the Swiss catch another of our spies. I think the Swiss are the Swiss are catching all of our spies right now. Yeah, they have ten spies and counter espionage and we're trying to support the fascists in Switzerland. Okay, I think that's it for today. I'm going to save the game and I'll be back latest next Friday with more Hearts of Iron 3. Thanks everybody who stopped by. I'll see you soon. You too, Turoi. Stay safe. Have a good night.